Sunday, everybody, and welcome back to Legends. We've got Brian, we've got Jim, and hey, Mike, how, hey, how are, are you? you? It is a super Sunday. It's a it's super duper Sunday, it isn't is it, you guys? Yes, it is. Yeah, we're getting ready for a big day here, I bet. Absolutely. They always come there to enjoy great food and watch a good game. Yeah. We have to call it the big game. You're not allowed to say Super Bowl on TV because it's trademark, so you can say the big game, right? The big game. Remember all that? I, d I most certainly you, do. I'm having news, PTSD from those Super days Bowl, so. as, you're, as you're talking about it. Anyway. But you guys have had an incredible, not just Sunday, not just Saturday, but an entire year now under your belts out here at, in Boardman, right at the corner of 224 and Market Street. And the food, if you guys follow them online, you see some of these specials and some of the things that come across the, the table and it's just so impressive. So congratulations on a whole year, you guys. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. How was the year? Went fast. Yeah? Went fast. Um, learning curves, trials, tribulations, a lot of surprises. Got through it. Just keep pushing away. The thing we concentrate on most is just um, making sure the customer's experience is good. We were just talking, Jim, a few seconds before we, we got this show rolling today about the, the over and beyond compliments about some of the simplest dishes from people who are not from our area. Yes, and it's been interesting because based on certain dishes, as I mentioned, the crab cake, a gentleman from Maryland said, I'm from the crab cake. Really? Family. Yes. Oh, that's cool. And he said, and I con consider myself a connoisseur, and he said, and this is probably the best crab cake I've ever had. How about that? That's high praise. Yes, very high. How about for you? Uh, what are you, you know, hearing? What do you hear when you go when you come in? That it's a atmosphere that's very unique. Mm -hmm. You know that we are not the typical mm -hmm. restaurant in Youngstown, Ohio. And that was the intent really from the start was to be different, right? Uh -huh. um, a different vibe, a different um, menu. So, <clears throat> you know, the feedback, like Jim said, has been very positive over the first year, and uh, it is hard to believe that we're, you know, 12, pushing 13 months in. Yeah. Well, and, and you're kind of tucked away. I mean, there's no big sign out front for people to know where you are, so a lot of that word of mouth goes a long way, doesn't it? Word of mouth has been one of the most important things. Social media, mm -hmm. uh, people coming first time. We're still, by the way, 13 months in, and... Uh, didn't know you were back here. Did you hear that? You hear that stuff? A lot. Uh -huh. and, and so when they come in, also always going around asking, "How's things? First time in?" Or mm -hmm. uh, yes. Mm -hmm. well, what made you come? Well, this person said it. That person said it. The buzz is on social media. Uh -huh. So it, it's pretty interesting. But 25, 30 percent every day, every week are new customers in still, and we're got a nice repeat customer build up now. That's cool. Which is most critical. That's really cool. It's got to be because of the pizza. We've got to Do you want to take us through some of yeah, the things? Yeah, take us through some of this one. Can we start right here yeah. so that way I can jump of Lauren, in? We have our uh, wedding soup pizza. Uh huh. Uh, which is. I uh, see the little meatballs. I know, yes, right? It's, it's yeah. good. Whatever's in the wedding soup is on the pizza. All right. It's, it's almost crazy. fish time. I mean, it's it's a lot, some people, exactly. it's all year round, but you guys yes. are ready to go, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Every day, but come uh, Lent, we'll be uh, offering a few different fish specials. Uh, obviously, our number one seller, proper fish and chips. We'll do walleye. We'll get uh, some salmon dishes in. Mm -hmm. do a lot of different things like that. Have fun with it. A lot that of times lovely. people wait for a plate and stuff, but Lauren's just, she's got care. a plank uh, in front of her. I'm sorry. She's just going to go yeah, for we're it. We're all friends yeah. here. We've been doing this for a whole year. This is yeah. one of your uh, top <laughs> appetizers, right? That, yeah, that's a new one we introduced with the deviled eggs with mm -hmm. the uh, bacon, and you can get a few different flavors on the bacon. Uh huh. I didn't know there was pasta in the middle of that. Yes, pasta in the middle of that. <laughs> is that an official name? Um, that is, mussels and pasta, Mike. No, that's the, it's a mussels with uh, fettuccine. Oh, nice. Cuban. The Cuban, Cuban's which is much. still pushing very strong. People mm -hmm. love that. Yep. And then the flatbread on my side is. And that's the Briar Hill. Oh. How good is that? Well, Brian, we're gonna just in time for your diet to be over. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Time to eat, everybody. It is a super Sunday, and you guys have been a, a wonderful team that we get to meet. Um, one new person that didn't start this whole entire chapter with you guys when you guys first opened, but he is such a huge part of it now. So we get to meet who at the end of our show today? Yeah, Anthony, our general manager. Nice. Uh, is the newest addition to the team. That's great. That'll be fun. That's all great. right, stick with us. We're gonna chow and we're gonna pitch our first story. Is that all right with you? Sounds great. All We've right. Seen the latest edition of Venture Monthly. There's our Michael. There's and me. Who's this young lady? There's Linda. She's doing it again. Another sweet shop that she's opening up uh, for a couple of different reasons. Listen in. Just the nostalgic candy, the candy, um, the old-fashioned candy cigarettes. You know the satellite wafers. You know the Mary Janes. You know, and a lot of those. 
Our friend Linda Barton is at it again. A couple of years ago, she was manufacturing vintage T-shirts with old candy companies on them. Then a shop to buy the shirts. So actually selling the candy was the next natural move. Half of the people I know are like, you're crazy. And I'm like, yeah, I know, you know, um, but everyone else was like, that's a really great idea. It just made sense as a business and a location in the valley made sense too. As I'm reaching out, I'm like, there's no one that has anything like this here in Youngstown. And I felt that our community was a little bit neglected. <laughs> you know, like we didn't have it. People have to drive to Cleveland to be a sweeties to go and get the varieties that they need and find all the old stuff. Uh -huh. It's all here. Everything from the tea berry gum, to Pez, to cow tails, to hard to find items like Pop Rocks and Linda's favorite growing up, Necco wafers. Well, I was thrilled that Necco came back, you know, because they were uh, they were my favorite growing up, you know, that and the Swedish fish, but Swedish fish, you can find those, but Necco stopped producing for two years. I just thought about everything that I remembered as a kid, and then we also had to add in what's trending on TikTok, because we got all these weird, you know, challenge candies, super sour, super spicy, you know, different things like that. So we wanted to have a variety. And a variety they have not just candies. She has sodas. She has lip gloss. It's just like when we were kids. They're open for business finally, and her dream has become reality. People are coming through those doors. I dream about it at night. It's crazy. Like, I, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night, and I'm either shopping in the candy store or I'm walking and people come in. It's just, I want people to be able to know that we're here and not come in and be like, are you open yet? Can I get a sneak peek? We've had a lot of people coming in every day and, you know, they're like, what's going on? You know, I'm like, come through. You know, we'll test out our POS system on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you're scoring at home, Linda has come up with three businesses in the last few years. Is there room for more sweet ideas? We had to ask. I always have been uh, guilty of just coming up with an idea and just running with it. So uh, I can't really answer that question. <laughs> but I do have I do have my bar set up for uh, you know maybe something fun down down the road. Congratulations to Linda. She had a big event on Friday where hundreds of people popped in. Isley's is doing ice cream? I and had no idea. No, they're doing a coffee. Coffee, okay. And Good Humor sent some Got ice it. cream All right. uh, for the big event. So this is, I think this is my first cover. I don't I think, think I've so. ever been on anything ever. You've been on, on magazines. Cover? All sorts of times. You were on Valley okay. Magazine, weren't you? But like, yeah, when I was like a Charlie baby. Bing. When I was a baby. I have a story to tell. <laughs> you look anyway, so handsome. Thank you. So you really check do. them out. Trumbull Avenue, right off uh, Belmont in Girard and it's fantastic. It takes you back in time. Most certainly does. All right, let's take our break. Okay, and then when we come back, mm -hmm. um, remember when we first started the show and we weren't sure what we were kind doing? Kind of, yeah. And Mark Canzanetta always knows what he's doing. We still don't know what we're doing, but <laughs> he continues to know what he's doing. Yes, he does. We'll be right back. Heels is the low-cost living anti-inflation department store. Shop Hills in the Liberty, the Condoles, and Portland Plaza, Youngstown, and the Richview Plaza and Warren, and the Hills location in Champion, all open 10 till 10 daily. in the Bistro 1907 test kitchen with the one, the only Mark Canzanetta. I don't know about that. I'm with the one and only Lauren Lindvig. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding go, me? We could go on and on like Forget this about it. all day, every day, but we won't because we want to uh, teach you something and then yeah. um, get you to come back. Exciting down to stuff the, to the coming restaurant. up, right? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I know, right? We've been, we've been, like we've been talking about this for eight or nine years. At least. At least. At least. And here we are in the reality of, of what you do so well and oh, I'm just thank lucky you, thank to be you. able to hang so out with as, them. So as, as, as a woman as a young lady when you were growing up looking under the Christmas tree what did you like to look for well I, I do have to admit the tiny blue box the tiny poop box my, the tiny so we're blue gonna box. create a Tiffany cosmopolitan this. just for that because when you see all these ingredients right here as we're working through this you're probably thinking to yourself he's gonna make me Windex <laughs> no but that's not, not the Windex. case not we're gonna make close. a Tiffany cosmopolitan and we only the, at Bistro 1907 we have this beautiful we have my wife's 
Tiffany <laughs> bracelet. Oh, well, my okay. gosh. Melissa, thanks for letting us borrow it. That's Thank you. So cool. we're going to take some ice. All right. And we just happen to have that beautiful sonic crust ice here in the <laughs> test kitchen. We're going to take about an ounce and three-fourths of vodka, your favorite vodka. Use a premium vodka because you want it to be, it's Tiffany. I'm, Use the best. You have taught okay? me this very yeah. carefully over the years. We're going to grab you a have. little, just a dash of blue curacao. And it actually comes from the island of curacao. So just a dash, like a quarter of an ounce of blue curacao. That's it. That's it. Just a touch. Look at that. I know, right? Look at that. It looks, it looks pretty already. Am I so, done? You're done. No, <laughs> no. Now, as Cosmos go, one of the key ingredients besides the vodka is you have to have white cranberry juice. So we're going to add some white cranberry juice. We're going to take that, and we have this copper shaker. And you know what copper does? What it, 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 it makes everything colder. 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 So the ice. The ice ring have is going to form. On that, so we're going to shake this 20, 30, 40 times. When you say when. No, I'm not that. I, I want to do it myself. Oh, you want to do it a little yeah. bit yourself? Great. This is my first time ever doing this. Shake it. Believe it or not, my that's mom awesome. would say that's not true. But I okay. really haven't. Is it, is it good now? Oh, it is. I great. think we're good. Feel that. Cold. We're getting an ice ring on there. So we're going to pop oh off gosh. the top, and then we're going to pour that beautiful Tiffany Cosmopolitan. You know, so many women. I look will, at that. I look at that perfect Tiffany color. It's like Delicious, you, it's like you light. researched the exact color. I don't know if I did that, but we, we put some time into it. Yes, you did. Please you try did. it. I Tell me what so you think. so many women, I'm one of them, because I walk into a restaurant and I think to myself, I know what I like, but I always want to try something something different and something beautiful. But you deserve this. I, I do. As does I my do. wife, do, as does every mark? woman. Right, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a sip. Oh my gosh, Mark. Thank you. Mark. Thank you. Pretty cool, huh? Very I want to good. taste the sip myself. Think, you know, are we going to share? Yeah. We always share. We've shared for a long time now. That's fantastic. It really is. It's light. It's crisp. It's clean. It has that great cranberry back. Can you see it's that? It's going to be fantastic. Taking it back from you. Yes. Obviously, it's <laughs> of very, <course>. very good. <laughs> As you're supposed to. So this is on the menu. This is on the menu. At Bistro 1907. This is the Tiffany Cosmopolitan. By Mark Only at Bistro 1907. Mark, such good stuff. We've got, we've got more to come in a few seconds. So um, what's coming up next? We are going to have the strawberry type trifle. Strawberry trifle. We are going to have the strawberry trifle. It's like you've done TV before. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. My case will be way harder on you. I know okay, that. I, I know, know that. All right. Are we good? One more sip. That's awesome. It's so good. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. Only A to Z .com. Taking one cash offer for your home doesn't have to be your only option. I'm Barbara Corcoran, and especially in today's current market, having a local real estate agent who offers great marketing and options that are customized to fit your needs is smart. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com. We've weathered our way through 75 winters. Let our service and sales staff help you weather the next storm with peace of mind and the right equipment. Before you know it, the snow will fly. Do yourself a favor and get to do cut before the inventory of our Toro snowblowers blow away. The Toro Power Max for that heavy duty job. The extra edge makes the job easy. And the Toro Power Clear model is simple and quick to use when mother nature just won't quit. We've got units starting at just 529. Well, Mark, everybody on our set today was just making fun of me because I called it a strawberry trifold. As yeah, in a that's okay though because we're, we're talking about menus. Hard marketing piece. I mean, it, it's, it's not, natural. It's not what it is. It's a strawberry trifold. It's a strawberry trifold. See, we learn things on this yeah, show. Yeah, it's we a very whimsical dessert. Whimsical. Yes, it you know, is. it's going to be whimsical because we're going to take it back to our childhood. Because you know, when I was growing up, my family didn't make whipped cream. We bought. Cool, cool whip. whip. 
Wait. We bought Cool Whip, so we're making homemade Cool Whip to go along with this strawberry trifle. So you is are, that not cool? Or Amanda is. Amanda is oh, my pastry okay. chef, right. so she's going to be making the, the Cool Whip. This one's for you. Yeah. So when you are coming up with the dessert menu, obviously you and Amanda have worked very closely together yes. for a long time. We have. So the reason why this one made the cut, because I know you guys went through a lot of things when it came to we did. deciding what was going to actually be on the menu. Well, I wanted to go back into my childhood. You know, I wanted to go back to like almost like strawberry shortcake. Remember when we were kids, we got the little golden cakes? Yes. And you got the strawberries and you marinated them with sugar and then you poured it over top with and it had some whipped cream, whether it was aerosol whipped cream oh, or yes. Cool Whip. Of course. So this is a grown up version of that. Wow. Just like everything at Bistro 1907 is going to be, we're going to take those things you had as a kid, I had as a kid, grandma made for us, and we're going to flip it on its ear. And we're going to just kick and it And now up we and have this right? cool strawberry trifle okay, so made with Cool Whip. So the layers are just we have this beautiful cake. yellow cake, but it's soaked with a ginger and orange peel syrup. Right? I can, then can we I, have can beautiful I, can farm I say fresh. I'm in love with this. Right? It's farm fresh strawberries, homemade Cool Whip, orange and lemon zest. Now you have it. You have the complete dessert. Takes you back to when you were a kid. Takes grandma back to when she was a kid making it for you. It has those things that brings back memories. Just like everything we want to do at Bistro 1907. I know you put this place setting out for me, but I, this seems like a lot of work. <laughs> especially since I'm moderately lazy. <laughs> I was gonna dive right in. Go, do you, you want to come with me, Mark? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's, just let's jump reach in. in. Let's All go. Right. Let's I, go. Know, I know Ron, Flaviano. I think everybody is a little bit jealous. Oh. I already biffed the whipped cream. I mean, not the whipped cream, but the Cool Whip. Cheers. Cheers. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can we just stop working? And just I think eat? we just did. I think we did too. I think this took me back to when I was five years old. Beautiful stuff, Mark. Right? Great stuff. That's Pizza fantastic. 1907 by Mark Hansonetta. Downtown Come down, Youngstown. check out Amanda's great pastries. Great stuff. Thank you. No, thank you. There it was. The Throwback Sunday. When I called the strawberry trifold. And Fred never lets me forget it. It's trifle, right? Yes, okay. it's trifle. All right, well, now you know. See, we design a lot of trifolds in our business. So. <laughs> that's true. Pamphlets are ours. And then I need a martini just to, well, like, you know. What else is in Metro oh, Monthly? Oh, look what else. Oaxaca Taco made it. Oh. We've been open a couple weeks now, and the staff is working hard out there. And look at that. Well, make sure you pick up your copy. Yes. Thank you, Mark Pico, for, for giving us this, and Ron Flaviano for all the work that you do to make this publication possible. This is probably the best one they've ever had. <laughs> Just judging by, if you judge a book by its cover, you know. Anyway. All right, let's take our break. <laughs> Super Sunday over here. <laughs> Super duper. Uh -huh. Sean Posey on the other side. Whether it's dinner out with friends and family or your next catered event, Rachel's Restaurant in Austintown always makes it special and delicious. Award-winning cuisine, relaxing atmosphere, and so much more. Rachel's Restaurant, Austintown. RC Compounding specializes in custom medications to meet your individual needs. Our staff can compound medications in unique dosage forms for everyone in your family, even your pets. For us, we have standards, we have testing, we have personnel training. Everything, every single product that we dispense, we can assure um, that it meets all standards and above and beyond. RC Compounding, we care about your health. Our customers are always part of the equation of everything we try to do. We don't have a Hillcrest label that we're trying to push on you. We don't have stockholders we're trying to make profit for. There's no out-of-state corporate office. The competitive advantage for Hillcrest over our national competition really is sustainable pricing, number one, the service, and caring about what the customer needs, not our agenda. It's tough to get off course when that's your focus. Papa Canzanetta's Peppers, recipe established in 1975. A family secret is now yours to share with the people who add spice to your life. Choose from mild and hot versions, plus our famous original blend too. They're the perfect punch for any dish, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've got the recipes to prove it. Just follow us on Facebook, order online at papacans.com and pick your peck. Papacans.com, order six jars or more and qualify for free shipping. We like it hot, we're glad you do too.
back here, Valley Spotlight. Legends has been open one full year. Yep. And we want to say thank you to Steelite International for making this part of our show possible. I'm not, Steelite looks pretty good right now. I'm telling you. You <laughs> really can see more does. and more of the Steelite as we go along. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. I had, a I had a couple of these deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. good the stuff. fish is fantastic. You know, mm -hmm. um, you just asked me the question. Mm -hmm. Did I ever sneak food into the movie theaters? Uh, or drink. Food, yes. Because, I don't know, we, we didn't have a lot of money, so. We snuck a couple beers in a couple times. Oh, okay. All <laughs> right. Well, I haven't been to the movies in a long time, but Sean Posey has a look at the history behind the snacks. Oh, cool. Today when you go to the movies, popcorn, candy, soft drinks, and other concessions are a central part of the experience. But when the world of moving pictures first enthralled the public, candy and even popcorn were not sold inside theaters. By the year 1907, 3,000 Nickelodeons were in operation in the United States. And in 1914, 27% of Americans visited theaters at least once a week. In the years before the Depression, theater owners universally disdained the idea of selling concessions. They feared that patrons would litter and damage the ornate furnishings of palatial movie palaces that opened during the teens and twenties. As the Great Depression eroded revenues in theaters across the country, owners began leasing space inside to popcorn vendors in order to attract patrons. Once theater owners realized the revenue generating potential from selling popcorn, they began offering it themselves. Renowned theater architect S. Charles Lee, famous for designing San Diego State Theater and the Huntridge Theater in Las Vegas, also invented a machine that popped and kept popcorn warm for patrons. Back in those days, a bag of popcorn cost anywhere from five to 10 cents. As theaters incorporated refrigeration or conditioned air, they found that it could prevent chocolate from changing color and keep water ice cold. Candy counters became a common design element in theaters. Everything from chocolate candies to candy apples were available. Sugar rationing during World War II curbed the sale of candy until the late 1940s. As the Cold War set in, Jujubees, Baby Ruths, Goobers, Milk Duds, and Snowcaps, smaller versions of a candy called the Bob White, predominated. Today, popular candies include Sour Patch Kids, Skittles, Swedish Fish, and Nestle's Bunch of Crunch, along with classics like M&M's, Milk Duds, and Dots. However, then as now, popcorn dominates concession sales, even though prices have increased over 600% adjusted for inflation. Many patrons wonder why popcorn and other concessions are so expensive at the movies. During the first weeks of a film's release, studios take up to 70% of ticket sales. Revenue from concessions allow theaters to operate profitably. What is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why it's buttered cup? Popcorn and sweet cream butter to hot popcorn. Mix it up, wrap it up, buttercup is born. It's delicious. So nutritious. It's a taste delight. It's so munchy, crisp and crunchy. You'll enjoy it by eating butter crunched buttercup popcorn at its best. Served in a king size cup. It beats all the rest. Step back in time with me and revisit the golden age of entertainment. From turn of the century Nickelodeons to Keith Albee's Vaudeville Palace. From neighborhood theaters of yesteryear to your favorite drive-ins and twin cinemas. They're all featured in historic theaters of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley. Available from the History Press. Well, there you go. That's good. Yeah, it is good. Goober, uh, Raisinets. I like Raisinets. Yeah? If I had to pick. They're raisinets. You like snow caps. I know you like I snow like caps. I like snow caps. I do. Those are good too. But popcorn, six hundred percent from where it started. That's why yeah. the popcorn's so good. You can't go wrong with popcorn. <laughs> All right. What's next? Oh, Kelly Warren and I. Yeah, this is an interesting question that I've. Uh, you know, you see all these commercials mm -hmm. for the apps. Yeah. Pre-approve your mortgage. 
like you know, I don't want to say all the ones maybe I'm not supposed to, yeah. but there are there. It's constant. It is it a good idea? So we sat down with Kelly, actually, just right next to her, and <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> I know how you excited you are right now for another edition of Home Advantage with Kelly Warren. <laughs> Last time we talked about what to do for getting ready to sell. This time we're going to talk about buying. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. I guess first, has the the, the home market was not so for so long. Have we has it flattened out a little bit or changed? Tell us what's going on. It has. It has leveled out, and so for buyers, that's great news because mm -hmm. if you couldn't get a house before you can get one now. And before you had to bid over asking price, waive home inspections, you know, make an offer right on the spot. Now you can go home and sleep on it, think about it, make an offer tomorrow with your home inspection at a normal price. The prices it's a good are, time for have buyers. come down to where they should be, they I guess? They haven't come down, but they've leveled off. Okay. You're not going over asking as yeah. much anymore. Probably good for the realtors too. Y yes, much I better. think good for everybody. It's it's yeah. a much more balanced market. All right, let's talk about uh, what a buyer should do. I, I'm guessing the first thing you do is figure out how much house you can get. Yes, yes, you need to know what you're shopping for, so you need to get pre-approved. Pre-approved. So I see on TV all the time, I see these guys on those apps, and literally in the time of the commercial, that guy's pre-approved. Yes. Does the, does A, does it even work that way? Yes, so what they're actually doing is getting pre-qualified. Okay. So a pre-qual, quick different. and easy, 30 seconds. Okay. They, they need your credit score, they need your income, and, and boom, you've got a pre-qualification or <laughs> okay. not. Okay. Um, pre-approval goes just a little bit more in depth, like, okay, you said you make 100 grand a year, now prove it. Okay. Um, or you said you make 100 grand a year, but you forgot to tell us you have child support, so we're gonna take that off of there. Um, so the pre-qualification is a little bit less um, Invasive Stringent, yeah. and a little bit, you know, less good than a pre-approval. Okay, um, I guess is is it okay to do that app thing, or do you suggest against it? I prefer a local lender. I prefer those relationships, and a lot of our local guys have apps and move quick and all that kind of stuff too. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like you know I've been in business for 22 years. I know everybody here. I know that if you tell me I'm going to ABC Bank and it's this guy. I've dealt with him before. I know his quality of work. I know the deal will get done. Or if you tell me you're going to some online helicopter mortgage, that, uh -huh. that it's not maybe a good deal. But people do. They do, they do, and you can. Yeah, yeah. you can. But you like that face-to-face -face conversation. Yeah, well, and even if you're not doing it face-to-face, -face, I just like knowing who we're dealing with and knowing that they're not gonna rip you off and mm -hmm. knowing that their pre-approval is solid. Is it tough to get pre-approved? Because when you no. do it on the app, man, you got it, right? So the pre-approval is quick and easy. What's a little bit tough or annoying for the buyers is the underwriting process where they're like, okay, now we want three months of pay stubs and now we want this paid off college loan. And the buyers are like, I have to go get this paper right, that I haven't been able to find for six months. But right. if you think about it, they're gonna give you 200 grand of their money to go buy you a house. That give them sense. the paper. That makes sense. Is it okay to shop and look around while that process is going on or should I wait to find out? No, yes and no. Um, you do wanna shop, you wanna compare, you wanna make sure that you're not overpaying on rate or closing costs, um, but you don't wanna shop too far out of a period because it'll hit your credit each time. But okay. if you do a couple in a row in a short period of time, the credit company realizes that you're shopping rates. Can I, if I don't get approved by X bank, can I go to Y bank and try again? Sometimes. Um, they do use the same overall standards and guidelines, mm -hmm. but sometimes there might be a program that might fit you somewhere that didn't somewhere else. Okay, and maybe you know a guy, maybe that guy right. would help. Yeah. Who knows? They have the connections, said Kelly Warren and Associates. Okay, phone number is? 330-717-2689. Uh, I stumped her. Finally, I stumped her after all these years. How about the website, you know that? Kellysullivan.com. All right, very good. That's your home advantage for today. There feel better? Now yes. we got it. Now, now we know, face to face. It's always a little bit. I feel the same way. I'm scared of the internet. I, I don't know, it's probably my age. I'm just scared of it. <laughs> I don't like to book things on it. I like to call somebody and talk to them, you know, yeah, as long yes. as they can understand what I'm saying. You don't like to do the QR code menu <sighs> thing? Awful, I'm awful at it. Anyways. <laughs> there you have it. All right, more to come on Valley Spotlight. We're gonna be here at Legends for the rest of this amazing Sunday, this super Sunday, and this fish is yeah. I can't stop eating it. Is it out of this world? It's out of this world. Ooh, that's because we're going to take a visit to the planetarium and update you on something that just recently happened that, you know what, we got to keep our eyes on them. Okay. okay?
For nearly 80 years, Cafe 422 has been the Valley's premier destination for steaks, seafood, and fine Italian cuisine. Join us at Cafe 422 for lunch, dinner, and all of your special occasions. Cafe 422 in Warren and Boardman. RC Compounding specializes in preparing affordable and natural hormone replacement therapy just for you. I was spinning my wheels before. I didn't know what was wrong and now I feel um, I have a, a sounder mind. You know, I can sleep better. You know, when your hormones are off, your whole body is off, your mind is off. So I feel a lot better. I feel like I can do anything. RC Compounding, we care about your health. History is like a window into the past. In my History Press trilogy, Lost Youngstown, Historic Theaters of Youngstown, and Hidden History of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley, learn little known facts and interesting tales from our storied past. All three are available at Barnes and Noble, fine local retailers, and Amazon.com. A to Z Dependable Services now offers walk-in tubs and showers in as little as one day. Let us create a safer bathing experience in your bathroom or the shower of your dreams. Call A to Z Dependable Services today for a free estimate or visit us online at onlyatoz.com. And it really all started with salt, with Himalayan sea salt. That's where it all started because of a patient who came in and told me about the benefits of salt therapy, which is inhaling uh, Himalayan sea salt, an aerosolized Himalayan sea salt. And I found that my patients were having fantastic results using salt therapy. And I wanted to know how could I incorporate the Himalayan sea salt into products that would benefit the sinuses and the skin. And that's where Salt Me was born. Back here at Legends on uh, Valley Spotlight, if you have a uh, Super Bowl get together today, yeah. you can get your food here. Or any, any Sunday. Still have time to make it home for kickoff. And See who wins the coin toss and see how long the national anthem is and all the other bets you can place. All this, all this stuff. I don't <laughs> right. even think about it. It's a lot it. of stuff. You know, um, the uh, the planetarium on the YSU campus mm -hmm. had a had a rough start to <laughs> right. 2023. Say the least. But we have an update for you, and if you've ever been there, you know why it's so popular. This moment on Valley Spotlight, we are putting the spotlight and all of the lights out here at the planetarium at YSU and Kurt Spivey. Kurt, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Lauren. I, I, I've, I'm a big fan of his when he does the midday news at 21 WFMJ, and I've never personally been able to meet you before. Yeah, glad you're here. I am glad to be here, but sometimes yes. under the circumstances. Yeah, I've been better. You guys have been better out here. Yeah. For folks yeah. that maybe missed the headlines or, you know, just maybe, you know, sometimes you're out of town and you don't realize what's happening in your own backyard. That's the reason why we're here with you today. You guys had a fire. Yes, it was the very first day of class here at YSU, January 9th. I just so happened to be on WFMJ <laughs> with Steve VC at great? the moment that the fire broke out. Uh, and then I hustled back up here, straight up Phelps Street, uh, and uh, watched them peel my roof back. Uh, what happened was some roofers were working on a roof that's adjacent to the planetarium. It's a flat roof. They were putting a membrane down with the torches and they caught our roof on fire as they did it, unfortunately. So uh, the fire damage, thanks to the Youngstown Fire Department, was minimal as far as that goes. We got some smoke in the room. The big thing was the water. They had to peel back the roof and they used tons and tons and tons of water in this room. So most of the damage we're looking at is water damage. Water damage from literally the the dome and then down. But yes. well, let's start on the on some of the brighter moments and we'll get to some of the you know the details as to what you guys are gonna be facing in the future. Sure. There were a few things that knock on wood were still sort of waiting yes. on this baby right here. Yes. Uh, the good news is Kronos seems to be intact. Uh, as of this recording date, next week, our tech is coming out who takes care of Kronos for us and he's going to give it its final bill of health or let us know if something's wrong with it. But it, it does appear 
Kronos and our 4K video system for the most part survived. We are, we are so, hoping and praying for you guys that that is yeah. certainly the case. But this is the thing that sort of creates a lot of the magic on top of so many other pieces of technology within right. this room. They kind of right. all work together. Mm -hmm. There's one that I know the, the famous name of Disney also incorporates, <laughs> but we were some of the first yes. here. Yes, the uh, lights that we're using in here are from a company called Chroma Cove. Uh, if you've ever gone to Disney and worn the little hats with the LED lights in, they make those. They're the ones that make them flash to the music when you're sitting in the park, all that stuff. That's all Chroma Cove. Uh, but they also do lighting for planetariums. Uh, the uh, LED lights in here, we were one of the early adopters. We've had the system for about 10 years. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the side over your head over here took tons of water and uh, the company has evolved so many generations past our system. Uh, the uh, Cove light system is definitely one of the things that's going to have to be replaced before we can be reopened. Yeah, 10 uh, years in that world is like 100,000 yeah. years. And yeah, and as you see, a lot of it's working, but there's a bunch of segments that aren't, and they can't replace those because we've evolved so far. So you mentioned it at the very beginning when we just started talking here that mm -hmm. the flame damage was minimal, but the water right. damage, as um, people are sort of sitting at home, they're like, oh my gosh, everything's fine. But when you look really, really close, there's like little tiny holes within the dome, right. and there's a possibility that you're going to have to replace it. Right. The dome is original to the room from 1967 when it was opened. It's been installed for 55 years. And as you look at the dome, if you look up close, there are lots of holes in. That is designed to reduce the weight of the dome by 23%, but still provide a screen that you can project onto. Um, when the fire department had to hose down the back of the dome to get the flames out, basically this dome turned into a giant sprinkler head. And uh, you can see across the dome uh, the water streaks going down even over on this side where the fire wasn't. And you can see discoloration on the dome. A lot of that has to do with the insulation that they knocked out of the ceiling and wet, soggy insulation is just laying on the back of the dome there. And it's creating mold issues at the moment. So people at home are probably like, gosh, I've been, I, you know, I've taken classes there or I've been there for community functions. And you're right. This is one of the most popular buildings on the YSU campus. Yes, uh, when we are going full bore, not counting the classes that are in this room, just the school tours and the public shows, we put close to 20,000 people per year through this room, which rivals what they put through the Bigley Center uh, for basketball games and the football stadium. That's so, a testament, Kurt. Yeah. That is a big statement. People are probably wondering, well, what are you guys gonna do in the meantime? How quickly are you guys gonna be able to be back up and running? And do you need help? Those are like three big yes. questions right there. Uh, we're still actually fairly early in the process. Right now, the YSU insurance company is talking to the roofers insurance company and we don't know how much insurance is going to cover uh, of the damage uh, so that's step one uh, step two is once we figure out what's going to get replaced and what's going to get paid uh, then we actually start the process then we will start looking at uh, what money we're going to need from the community. The nice thing is the planetarium does have four endowments. They help us buy shows. They help us maintain the equipment, uh, things like that. But uh, we do have an endowment that we, uh, if you've ever come to a planetarium show, you'll always see our donation box up at the front. That goes into a fund of ours called the Friends of the Planetarium. Uh, when, when we're ready to start uh, uh, giving money to uh, get the plane train back up. That's probably where we'll direct people through the YSU Foundation. We're not to that point just yet, okay. but uh, uh, we certainly hope it won't be a really extended period. I'd say uh, we're probably looking at a year before we can get reopened as it is. Uh, and that's just, you know, even if we do minimal stuff here, it's going to take a while to get the dome painted and cleaned uh, if that if it does stay. Uh, that I am not 100% sure of because it's very tight between the dome and the ceiling at the back and there is a lot of damage from the actual fire on the ceiling behind and we don't know if they can get back up there and actually fix that damage without getting the dome out of the way. A lot of unknowns for you guys. Yes. When you're sitting and telling this story to me and to so many people in the community, 
how do you get through it? Like, this is kind of like one of your <sighs> babies. You okay? Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. I, I've been in planetariums for 32, 30 years. And, and 13 in this one, right? 13 in this okay. one. Fortunately, I have opened two brand new planetariums in my career. So I know what to expect once we get the ball rolling. My big thing now is the uncertainty until we're ready to get the ball rolling. So, uh, but to keep the community engaged, we still want to get the word about astronomy out there to people. Uh, back during the pandemic, we did a series of online shows that we called Keep Looking Up. Uh, we did those weekly because we knew everybody was stir crazy and uh, still home. stuck at home. So we're probably going to do them once or twice a month. It's going to take us a little while to get those started back up because, you know, I'm really, really rusty going live on Facebook with Zoom <laughs> and I got to practice again because it's uh, been a while with that. But we'll, we're going to start doing them live on Facebook and then you can always go to our YouTube page where we'll have a recording of the show uh, posted as well. So we are still going to keep trying to engage with the community. I'm I'm still gonna keep going on WFMJ. I'm still gonna keep going out in the uh, community. And we have a big astronomical event that's going to happen uh, one year from April. April 8th, 2024 is a total solar eclipse here in Youngstown. The sun's going to be 99% covered. If you go just west of here, you're going to be in totality where wow. the entire sun is covered. First time this has happened in 30 years. So uh, we hope that uh, the planetarium will be open for that. If not, we are definitely going to be doing some community engagement for the eclipse. Kurt, you are so passionate about what you do. I feel like we could keep going, but yeah. you know what? Time is of the essence. Yeah. We will come back and visit you whenever you want us. Yes, okay? uh, we'll keep you updated thank and you. Uh, we'll definitely have you back before we open to the public again. Can't say thank you enough. No problem, thanks Lauren. Pets are part of the family, and at RC Compounding, their pharmacists make your pet a priority. Pain management is a big one with animals, especially if they have cancer or like end of life. They're unable to take tablets or capsules, and we're able to customize it into a solution that an owner could administer um, pretty easily without, you know, difficulty of having them swallow a tablet or capsule if they're not able to. RC Compounding, we care about your health. I'm Barbara Corcoran. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com. We have such a legacy, created such a legacy here in the Valley, and we're very well respected by numerous manufacturers in the industry. Uh, we're a leader in our industry, and I, I want to continue that, we want to continue that, and we want to take it to the next level. Whatever that level may be, we're ready for it. So let yourself go to Duca, let yourself go to Duca. Welcome back to Valley Spotlight, getting ready for Valentine's Day and all yeah. sorts of other great things. If you're doing some shopping for a loved one, this is a good place to go. Especially if she's a young lady or maybe a not so young lady in your life. Maurice's has you covered and this new line for girls, Mike. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got little ones in our family and yours is getting older as, right. as we speak, so is mine, but their sizes change quickly. Yes. yes, and this place has every size covered for you if you have a young lady in your household. Well, 
if you have not made your way into the Maurice's out here at the Southern Park Mall, you are missing out and you haven't had a chance to meet Danielle Marie. Danielle, nice to have you. Hi, nice having you here. I'm glad we get to show our new line off. This <laughs> is exciting stuff. If you're a lady, if you are a girl, if you are a grandma, if you are a husband, if you are a father, really that means anybody. I know that we, know we don't necessarily have things, things for guys in this store, but when you walk in, what Maurice's has evolved into over the years is really, it's just inspiring to see the fashions evolve with what ladies and what girls look like today, like real life, right? Oh yes, we've expanded a lot. We cover anywhere now from little girls size seven up to women's 24, um, all seasons. And now that people are back in the office, we've gone back to more of our, we have our workwear, casual wear. So whatever it is you're looking for, we can kind of help you with the fit. And it's really kind of like a boutique style here. A lot of the yes. things are, you know, bohemian to, you know, that you know, casual look for the office. You guys have like so many different styles, different personalities that I think are gonna feel really confident if they're dressing themselves from here. Yes, and we're in the middle of transitioning over to spring, so we have a lot of great sales, as you'll see the 60% up to 70% off signs with winter wear, a lot of that leftover, all of our spring lines coming in. We're starting with the shorts, the dresses capris, so people coming in planning for vacations and warmer weather, Ooh, baby. we've got you covered. That would, I would love to be able to be doing all of that. We'll just plan for spring, but the reason that we're here today is for the, the girls line. Yes, it's and called Epsi. It, it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm a, I'm a mom of a little girl and I have to say I am pleasantly surprised to see clothing <laughs> that covers them in this transferable season of course but also in general yes you can look cute and still not have to show like you know yeah keep they're everything. little yeah they're little and cute we um have even in the denim sizes we carry short and long so and if we don't have it in the store we can order it it's free to ship to your home from the store that includes all the sale prices wow the dressing rooms going the girls love coming and trying everything on and like i said we've got a lot of winter leftovers we've got a lot of really cute valentine's day outfits out transitioning to the spring, Easter upcoming, and we are also planning a fashion show on March 26th. And anybody interested that would like to sign their little one up to be in the fashion show, just stop in the store anytime here in the month of February and we'll get all your information and sign them up. And then once we have all the formalities and all the details right. down, we'll give you a call and get it set up. What a special moment for them to be yes, a part we're of. we're looking forward to it because it's so fun watching them try stuff on, come out in the mirrors. And we also do what's called fashion fun days. So if you want to get a group together, maybe five girls and moms, because mm -hmm. we can dress the moms and the girls. That's fantastic. Um, schedule with us a time and we'll set aside. We have enough team members and then everybody involved in the party too also gets an additional discount on top of the sales. That is, I didn't so, know that. Yes, that is, we do a lot of stuff. That and is very cool. FC works the same as everything else in the store. If you use our in-store credit card, you always get an extra 10% off on top of all the sale prices too. Sales so. are everywhere <laughs> and then more sales when you get to the register. Uh, you, your whole team, like even just walking in today, it is so nice to see smiling faces and people that like to come to work. And this industry is one that, you know what, we've all been hit hard. Yes. And it's nice to have people be able to come into the store and see such beautiful things and lovely people. Oh yes, it's so. great having everybody back in. And like I said, being able to help people now transitioning back to work or whether you're at home and this time of year, everybody's trying the weight loss and in between sizes, yeah. our team's all trained for fits. So we can get you in the perfect denim fit or pants fit too. And that, yeah, for ladies and for little ones. Cause yes. I know mine's about but this big. But our big thing is the little ones. Yeah, and so she's about this long. So we carry <laughs> so. the longs, like I said, yeah. and all the pants we can order a lot of the dresses are longer skirts we've got the tights to go underneath if they're shorter see and like I said a lot of cute Valentine's Day outfits out and the accessories the purses the hair bows the Can't hats forget that. and shoes and boots so we carry full shoe line for little girls too such cute stuff Danielle yeah. thank you it was nice thank to you. meet you and nice welcome to Valley Spotlight all right well thank you have a good day thank you I wish my daughter would wear something other than sweatshirts and leggings. Because <laughs> really? it's every single day. They have such nice stuff there. They really do. And if you're a parent, we like it when the clothing covers their body. Okay? <laughs> right. We don't right. need to see your belly button in the med middle of February. Can I go out on a limb and say that? Are people going to judge me for saying that? No. I want I want to have my child covered. Less belly button. Yes, less belly button this in February. This portion of the shirt can still be intact. Yes.
We're okay with that. Okay. All right. Hey, this one is 105 years right. in the making. Thankfully, they didn't uh, have me go up on a big ladder because I would not have liked no, that. No, that would not but have happened. These folks have been cleaning windows so clear they can see the past and the future. Oh, that was good, Michael. Thank you, thank you. That was so good. Window cleaning is not hard, but it can wear on you. You can see what Bob Wojcinowski means when you see his company, Sharon Window Cleaning, in action. Day after day, house after house, business after business. It, it, it's, people think it's easy, but it is easy, but it's not easy. A little bit of monotony, a lot of hard work. No matter what the weather is or how high up they go, the job still needs to get done. It's all year though, right? All year round. Well, uh, so Hot, cold. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what it is. You guys are going to do it. We do it. <laughs> and Sharon Window Cleaning has been doing it for over a century. Bob's wife, Erin, whose great-grandfather started the business, decided to take over from her grandmother just to keep it going. We just didn't want to, you know, 90-year-old business. That's hard to come by. So we didn't want to let it go under. And... Being the entrepreneur that I am, yeah. and she is, we decided to take it on. So they have. Bob and his crew do it all, whether it's an office. Do a lot of businesses. Some businesses we do twice a month, once a month, um, once a week. Or even a local residence. In fact, no job is too small. You know, I'll have older people call me, can you come do my one window? A lot of people won't go do one window. I'll go do one window. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Just to make them happy. And they have. They keep it simple. And here's the recipe as to why they're more efficient cleaning windows than we are. It's not that we're better, we're more qualified maybe. Okay. <laughs> but the, as far as the ingredients, simple, Dawn liquid. There is a little something else that we'll put in to help the squeegee rubber glide on the window. Uh, in the summertime, it doesn't let the water evaporate as fast. You got to have a squeegee. I mean, that's that's the way to do it. I mean, some people are pretty good with a rag and they'll get it to come out decent. Uh, don't do them in the sun if you don't have to, because the sun makes it harder to do. But other than that, you know, it's a squeegee, a mop to put the soap on, and a little know-how. Bob says don't wash windows with newspapers. If you don't have a squeegee, a soft surgical rag will do the trick. And here's a surprise. They don't use typical glass cleaner like we do. We don't use Windex. It's just something we don't use. Most window cleaners across the country will use Dawn or Joy, something like that. We do put windshield fluid in it in the winter time if we need to. Um, if it gets too cold, obviously, you're not going to clean windows. But on this day, they did, believe it or not. To get the technique, called fanning with the squeegee it takes months to learn you got to fan windows later down the road so you can go faster window cleaning you got to be fast if you're not fast you don't make any money bob's son dylan is a fifth generation window washer and he showed me how so let's watch the pros first so take her mop out yeah with the whole window the whole thing this whole top doesn't matter which way you go as long as it's wet, right? Make sure it all gets wet. Uh huh. So you do the top, kind of work your way down. Right. Other side. And then the top half's done. And now it's my turn to finish it off. Now what? Squeegee time? Squeegee time. So like you came up and around? One like side this. came up, yep. Like that. And straight over. across, the, straight across. Kind of Curve it, kind of curve it down. Yeah. And then swoop back. Yep. Just always keep the squeegee on the glass. Yep. Is this pretty good? It's not bad. Not right, great. Yeah. And then down like that. There we go. How do you feel about that? Nope. Except for that part right there. I missed something good. <laughs> You're gonna have to do the whole thing over. <laughs> See, that might be my new career. I, this show is great and everything, but if they offer me something, is that the, is that? Okay. I might go window cleaning. All right, for another 105 I, years. A lot of people take months to learn that trick. Fifteen minutes. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm a natural. <laughs> He's a natural as right. You can do without smears. <laughs> yeah, no, I missed like this much. I had to go back and wipe it up, but anyhow. Speaking of naturals, Anthony, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to Valley Spotlight and welcome to Legends, right, Jim? This Absolutely. is one of your newest players. Very happy to have Anthony. Yeah. Very much Feel so. good? Feel good about being here? I uh, feel fantastic. I'm grateful to be here, grateful for the opportunity. You feel like I'll bring um, some, some good things to you. Uh, yeah. Did you work in the restaurant industry before, um, or did they hire you for your outstanding personality? So I try to keep my resume behind me, but um, I was with uh, Red Lobster for 10 years. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of uh, experience in regards to the service industry. Um, Which is not an easy one. No. Not an easy one. And for people out there who, you know, get online and like to go on Google and give reviews and they, you know, they think that they know everything. Mm -hmm. There's a different side of this business mm -hmm. that these people, you have to love what you do. You have to love your team. You have to enjoy serving others from Absolutely. start to finish. And Absolutely. I think when you find someone that you know brings that to the table, especially for over a decade, that's a wonderful testament Absolutely. to an entire that's, group. That's exactly what he knew as soon as we met Anthony. That's he gets it. He understands the yeah. uh, customer, the experience. Yeah. Uh, and um, just to touch base on what you guys said earlier about uh, we're kind of like a hidden gem. Yes. You know, we talked to several people. They come in here and they don't even know we're here, but they come here and they're here for hours upon hours. Um, just enjoying the atmosphere. So. Yeah, the space itself is really right. beautifully designed and it flows so nicely. If you want to sit at the bar and hang out and watch the TVs, you can. If you want to sit in an intimate space with your friends and family, you can. You guys have it all covered. We've been eating this all day and the fish, I just... Like, <laughs> Do you want to... Now, yeah. if, if somebody's out there and like, oh my gosh, Valentine's Day is coming up, you've got them covered, right? Absolutely, got Valentine's Give me, Day Give covered. me uh, what Legends is doing, not just in the dining room, but the, the special things too. So we also have an event going on in the banquet room. The banquet room will have uh, some nice soft music, classical guitar, two guys that are fabulous. That's great. From Newcastle. Ah. <laughs> And uh, the home of some classical special guitar. dishes. We have a choice of four special dishes they choose from. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a package deal. Uh, the choice of the four meals, they get a choice of a white or red bottle of wine, mm -hmm. dessert, and all the fun stuff. All package price of $99.95. Oh, that's love. Per that person or love. per couple? Per couple. That's couple. Wow. <laughs> I've heard of. Yes, we're, we're here to. Yeah, I'm thinking about <laughs> it. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, just, bring, I, I just need two dinners. And the dishes I'm off the diet now. <laughs> 99 bucks, I'm in. Yeah. And one <laughs> bottle of wine or two. <laughs> You're <laughs> never going to invite us back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the gosh. dining room will be open for dining regular will still service be open as well. We have to make sure that we. We'll partake of all our great that. dishes. We'll have specials there as well. Well, it is certainly nice to uh, spend some time with you and, guys, and to be able to look back on everything that the restaurant industry industry has been through and you guys are a shining moment for for our community and, and for, our, for our show and for Steelite as well. So if you sit down and you think, oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. Well, that's the, one of the reasons we're able to do this show. So we think it's pretty neat too. All right, at the end of our show, you guys don't know this, but at the end of our show, we do a commercial from the past. Uh -huh. Super Bowl Sunday, kind of known for its commercials. Yeah, yeah. My mom loves the Budweiser Clydesdales. Yes, she does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to say goodbye to everybody, okay. okay? Okay. All right. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Watch us on ValleySpotlight.com, 4 p.m. every week. And come right to here. Legends, right? And come to Legends. Right. Come to Legends. Yeah. Absolutely. Here comes the king. Here comes the king. Here comes the big number one. Here comes the king. Budweiser beer, the king is second to none. When you say fun, one taste will tell you. So loud and clear. There's only one Budweiser beer. There's only one Budweiser beer. The king is coming. Let's hear the call. When you say fun, you say if you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.